Hey guys, today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, standing in front of McAllister's Deli. Now, this is a franchise, 350 stores, and we've never been in one. We've never seen one except here. Yeah, yeah. So we decided to go in here tonight. You're coming with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. What do we have here? Due to extremely short staff, our dining room is closed. Carry out only. That's okay. Because we're going to sit there. Use other door, it says. We go around to the front. Nice little area out here and watch the traffic, huh? So we got the right door this time. Let's take a look at the dining room, guys. Just walk around. Now this will be open tomorrow. This is just a fluke. It's not open tonight. Figures the night we pick it, it's closed. But we're gonna set up, we were gonna sit outside anyway. There's a lot of room in here. Man, it's nice and cool. Some nice pictures up on the wall. Let's look at the menu here at McAllister's. First one, choose two for $8.79. Has some salads, garden salad, chef salad. There are their dressings on the right, the Caesars. Shareables, nachos, and ultimate nachos. Let's go up to sandwiches, the clubs. We're getting that first one, the McAllister Club. That's their signature, and that's what we're gonna get. Some of their others, BLT, King Club, Veggie, Orange Cranberry Club. Memphian, there's an Italian, that sounds good. Sweet Chipotle Chicken, a New Yorker, and a Reuben. And some classics, ham and cheese melt, pork cheese melt, harvest chicken salad, Horse radish roast beef. Let's look at their sides. You get to pick one of these with the sandwich. Potato salad, tomato and cucumber, we're gonna get that. Cup of soup and a side salad. Spuds, we're gonna get the one on the right, the Chipotle chicken and bacon spud. The spud Max, black Angus roast beef spud and some extras you can put on there. Some soups, get a cup, bowl. Add a bread bowl. Some desserts. Got a brownie and Godiva double chocolate cheesecake. Beverages. Have to get the famous tea. They say it's the best, so we'll find out. Kids menu. Pizza, mac and cheese, salad, chicken and broccoli bowl. Some sides for the kids. And beverages. Not a bad looking menu. All right guys, food just came out. We brought it outside. There's the McAllister Club. That looks good. Tomato and cucumber salad. A little bit of red onion. That came with the club, get a side. And look at this baked potato. We got the Chipotle chicken and bacon spud. What do you think of that, Bobby? That's big. I'm glad we're sharing it. Can't be. Let's get right in there. Some cheese. And they gave us some sour awesome. cream. Awesome sour cream. We'll try it without that first. Yeah. So I got a big piece of chicken. It was sliced thin. And um, the sauce isn't really too hot because it has the... Um, Ranch. Yeah, it's it? Chipotle so that, ranch. That helps not make it so hot or spicy. The potato. Look at that. Now that's it's soft. The potato's nice and soft. Two potatoes put together. Yeah. And you got your bacon. And that's real bacon. Not fake. 
and the potatoes cooked well, it's soft. Do you like it? Yeah, I do like it. I could do just eat it with just sour cream and butter, but it's nice to try something different. Because that's a meal right there. That is. You, know? you, you, you wouldn't even need anything there. else. Mm -hmm. Try the club. So this has a common, just show you guys, I'll pick it up. It's got both ends of the stick. Tomato, see that in there. Some bacon in there. Turkey, black forest ham, a honey mustard, mayonnaise, and some spring mix. And this is on, let's see what kind of bread this is. This is a wheat bread. Okay. How's that look? I see some cheese in there too. And oh, how did I forget that? I don't know. Sharp cheddar cheese. That's <laughs> yeah, right there. There's so, just so much in there you just didn't I, I, see it. I'm gonna just but pull, I can see it. I'm going to pull this part off. It's nice and crispy. First thing on that bite is that honey mustard really sticks out. That's definitely fresh lunch meat. Got a little bit of the tomato. Got a little bit of the sharp cheese. That, but the honey mustard is what's so good about this. And with the wheat bread, the little, it's just it's crisp enough, gives it that extra crunch. That is the excellent sandwich. And I think you're gonna need all that nourishment because you're supposed to play Eric from Smoky Mountain Family tonight in a game of horse. I mean, there's no competition there. <laughs> We're not gonna film it, so don't be asking who won. I'm not gonna tell yeah. you. And <laughs> Eric is. 17 years younger. He's a little younger than me. Not much. So if he little. does win, it's really not fair. Yeah. Another one of the main reasons we came here because we love sweet tea. And all we've heard about is how good the McAllister's sweet tea. I even saw that in their ads. Saw a story on them and they talked more about the sweet tea than they did the food. And ours should really be good because they were out and they just made it fresh. Let me think a minute. It's good. It's definitely sweet, but it's still not my favorite. Chick-fil-A? Nope. Chick-fil-A's not bad. Yeah, you know my favorite. Oh, I do. Gus's. Gus's. And a, but a close second maybe, not Chick-fil-A. Popeye's. Popeye's. But this is definitely good. Got that southern flavor. So John's sandwich came with the side, the cucumber, tomato, and onion. I make this at home for us all the time. It's just a light. Yeah, it could have got fruit, um, I think, too, side. and it's potato salad. We couldn't but pass this up. we had this to potato, so we yeah. need potato salad. Who needs salad. potato salad when you have that big thing? Looks pretty fresh. Tastes just like I make it. Well, it must be good of, then. Yeah. <laughs> Got the Italian dressing, like vinegar or paste and oil. Okay. Good choice then. I'm going after this potato. There's the bacon. There's a lot of chicken in there, isn't there? I think I got everything in there. I got some bacon, some cheese, potato, chicken. The bacon is done just right. It's crisp. I like that sauce on there with the ranch in there and the chicken and the baked potato. The baked potato is, is perfect. I mean, the fork goes right through it. And did you think it was spicy? I don't think it's spicy. No. You can get some of that sometimes, that chipotle that's spicy. Yeah. This isn't. But I think with them, like we said, adding the ranch with it helped probably did. not be so, so spicy. So this is probably a good idea. If you want a sandwich, split a sandwich with somebody and split one of these potatoes. That way you can get both, because there's no way you could eat this whole potato and then turn around and eat a sandwich by yourself. There's Bobby's the bacon. I'm going to try it. There's that cheese. There's the sharp right there cheese. I <laughs> think you're going to like it. That's a good sandwich. The ham and the bacon. Some nice pieces of bacon on there. Yeah. And like you said, that honey yeah. mustard. It sticks out. Yeah, now, it, it says does. it has mayonnaise on it, but I can't taste I can't any taste mayonnaise. It. I can taste the mustard. I just wanted to show you what Bobby was talking about, about the chicken being sliced perfectly, nice and thin. There's two pieces of chicken. That goes well on that potato. 
One more ingredient I forgot to say. This has Swiss cheese on it too, not just sharp. I can't really taste the Swiss cheese. Well, it's just a real thin slice yeah, thin. of Swiss. That's an excellent sandwich. So we thought we were done and we were closing the boxes up. And look what we found hidden on the new John. How could we have missed that? A pickle. Pretty good size. Nice crunch. Well, we just left McAllister's and what did you think about it, Bobby? Well, when we first got here, there was a sign on the door that said, take out only. Which we thought, oh, they, they still must be, you know, not running on full staff. But they said they were open all day mm -hmm. until dinner time. But they had a shortage of Yeah, this workers isn't normal tonight. for them. Yeah, it's not normal. They're usually always open. But it worked out good for us because we were planning on eating outside anyhow. Yeah, there's plenty of tables to sit outside. You can sit outside in front of the parkway and watch the cars go by. I saw a sign on the uh, door that said kids eat free here also on Tuesdays and Fridays after 5. That's pretty good. Is there an age limit on there or did you notice? I didn't notice. A okay. You might want to check into that. Yeah, so check into just that. Just saw it, thought I'd throw that out there. So I ordered the baked potato and it had that sliced chicken in it and it had bacon in it little bit of onion, the cheese, the ranch dressing with the what was chipotle. Spice? chipotle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the potato was baked really well. I mean, it was soft inside. I liked how they cut the chicken real nice and fine. And John and I half that, and we also half the sandwich that he ordered. Yeah, he had to get their signature classic club. It was good. Uh, you know, I said early when I bit it, all I could taste was the uh, honey mustard, and that honey mustard was amazing but after I ate a few more bites of it I did taste some of the mayonnaise so I was happy with that a sandwich it was fresh bread was crispy love the potato I mean so I don't know I don't know which would be better if you came in here and just wanted a potato that would fill you up it would. but you know looking at it now that choose two where you could uh, get a half a sandwich and a half a potato that's probably the way to go yeah and John got a side of the cucumber and tomato salad that was very good. And before we forget, we're gonna tell you the price. Cause we, we didn't get a receipt. <laughs> the uh, club was $8.49. And then the potato was $8.59. Two drinks, $2.79. So our total I think was around $25. It's not a bad deal. No, and the tea, those were big yeah. cups. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. <laughs>